Welcome to Fibbage, I'm Cookie, and I haven't told the truth in years. Hope you're ready. Okay, four players. That's a good number, unless you want to call a few friends. No, four is fine, four is fine. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's hit it. This is round one. You'll pick up 500 points for everybody you fool. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Time to pick a category. First up, the Altoona Curve, a minor league baseball team, held a really odd promotional night for fans in 2016. Their players wore jerseys with pictures of blank on them. Now, use your device to put in a lie that you think will trick the other players into believing it. If you're stuck, for half the points, you can hit the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it. Okay. 
So here are your choices. Look for the truth and tap it on your device. All right, let's see what you guys picked. Would you believe Select a category. All right, here it is. While renovating his home in 1963, a Turkish man in the Cappadocia region was surprised to find blank. Okay, enter your lives. Alright, find the truth. Alright, who picked what? Oh, they took the bait on that one. Well, there it is. Uh. All right, choose a category. Let's see how this strikes you. Before it was turned into a kid's toy, Play-Doh was designed as a blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. And what did people pick? <laughs> and here I've spent all these years cleaning my wallpaper with Nickelodeon GAC. Round two, where the stakes are doubled. Hey, it's celebrity social media time. Celebrity social media. Celebrity tweet. In February 2011, Britney Spears tweeted, Does anyone think blank is a good thing? I love Lady Gaga. I think she's a really interesting artist. All right, type in your lies. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> Let's see how things shook out.
Yeah, I don't know. Okay, pick a category. Let's see what we got. To promote a 2002 video game, Acclaim offered $10,000 to anyone who would blank. Answer your lies now. Okay, find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. Nobody thought of this. Uh. To rock or not to rock? That is the question. <laughs> Give me a category. And the question is... In February of 2017, police in the UK had to break up a fight on a train that broke out after passengers kept placing blank on another passenger's head. Write your lies now. Okay, which one is the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? The fight was because no one brought cream cheese. Welcome to the final fibbage. It's your last chance at points and it's worth triple. Don't blow it. The people from Ile de Ré, a remote island off the coast of France, have a weird custom. Each morning they dress their blank in blank. And to your lies now. Okay, seek the truth. All right, let's see what everybody picked.
and it's weird because it's in the morning. Donkeys should wear pajamas at bedtime. Welcome to Monster Seeking Monster. I'm your host, Felicia Screenbringer. But you can call me, oh no, help! I'll be hosting six nights of sinister speed dating, where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on a date and both earn a heart. At the end of the game, the monster with the most hearts wins. Usually. Did I mention you're all secretly monsters? Check your devices now to see your secret powers and how you can earn bonus hearts if you put them to good use. Oh, and you can date the audience, which is collectively controlling this player by voting on everything they do. There's no one in the audience yet, but you can join at any time during the game by going to jackbox.tv and using the room code. Until someone joins, the audience will just make random choices on its own. This is going to be so much fun, and in no way gross or weird. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely. Audience's first message is automatically sent to everyone each night, and it shows up here on the screen too. Isn't that fun? Did I mention? 
mentioned that your secret conversations might be seen by everyone during the dates. My bad. until any unsent messages are lost forever. Hurry up! Oh, sorry, time's up. Now, on your device, pick the one person you hope you're going on a date with tonight. If I had real human emotions, I'd really be feeling them right now. Okay, let's see who tricked two. I mean, who picked two. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This is just the first night. doesn't make any sense to me. Don't go yet, there's more. show of faith than using all your messages. Wow, what an exciting first night. It would be weird to have a scoreboard at a dating event, but we do have a scoreboard at this dating event. So you are doing the best, and you're doing the opposite of the best. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. And every night after that, we'll do the same for the highest ranking unrevealed monster. Oh, look, it's a full moon tonight. That might affect some of your powers. Now that we know how this works, let's just jump into sending out those messages.
Whiplash. I'm Schmitty, your host, friend, co-worker, and father. I had a dream that you were all together. Well, it was actually a nightmare, but let's get started. This is round one. One, you'll see two prompts on your device. Answer them any way you want. Each answer will go up against someone else's answer and everyone will vote on which they like most. It's simple. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Okay, here we go. Starting things off, come up with the name of a country that doesn't exist. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Okay, next one. The best way to survive a bear attack is blank. It's voting time. <laughs> Next in line, make up a curse word. Time to vote. And next, a surprising thing to find stuck to the bottom of your shoe. Vote on your devices. one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Start this show. The first prompt is a hip new advertising slogan for socks. 
Okay, pick your favorite. Next one, rename Winnie the Pooh to something more appropriate slash descriptive. Time to vote. Next up, a cute name for hemorrhoids. It's voting time. <laughs> and next is an Olympic sport that never made it synchronized blank. Vote on your devices. Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. This is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Your last lash prompt is... The most unusual environmental cause is blank the whales. Everybody's in. Vote now. You get three votes this round to spread out any way you like, or give them all to one answer. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard.
abandoned building's history, know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, my paycheck. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. This isn't an ice cream lover's convention after all, but a game of dire consequences. Only one of you will survive. It's been all over the news. I mean, there was a whole montage about it at the beginning, so I'm surprised you didn't see this coming. Alright, first question. Besides a bloody surprise, why would I be seeing red in a black forest cake? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to room 101. Ah yes, tattoos. It's the only way I can feel anything. Give me a new tattoo by drawing on your device. transformative for me. Now vote for your favorite design. The artist with the fewest votes will die. <laughs> what did we decide? Ugh, this ink has got to go. I will have my revenge. You're not going anywhere. Everyone who dies in this hotel turns into a ghost. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. What was the last line spoken in the movie Home Alone? This. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. Welcome to room 227. Okay, this one is more of an experience. I read a Marie Kondo book and now I need to get rid of a bunch of crap. Pick a box and keep what's inside. The water damage is part of the charm. <laughs> ah, my Grandpappy Jack's glasses. They say they let him see things no mortal minds can comprehend. He succumbed to supernatural madness. I hope you don't see anything weird. Let's get out of here. My family never really understood me. The friends are the family you choose. And someday, I'm gonna make the whole world my friend. Let's try another one. What has less than a day to reproduce before they die? This. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. 
time for consequences. It's the mind meld. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. And I do mean anyone. Answer time is coming to an end! You didn't answer! That's unforgivable! Kind of anticlimactic, but a death is a death. Whoa, that was crazy! I guess the universe really wants you to get to the final round because it undid that last horrible mistake. Don't squander this second chance. It's time for the next question. What design is on each Oreo? <laughs> Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, I want to show you something. Hey, have you ever played this game, Quiplash? The game will send a question to your devices. Type in the funniest answer you can think of and hit send. I made this timer a little longer, mostly so I have time to wrangle the Quiplash host back into his crate. Let's see the funny ha ha's. How to be a hotshot farmer. All right, everyone else, vote for the answer you like the best. The player who wrote... Let's see the votes. Okay, we have a loser. Here, when one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. A male cat is called a tom, but what is a female cat called? <laughs> Who picked this? Follow me. Let's use one of my cousin Aloysius's old stage props. Pick a space inside the box to hide. Oh, I sure do hope you're claustrophobic! Any good magic trick needs some helpful volunteers. Okay, take this cool sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. I've always hated... On guard! Ooh! Ah! ah! Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. made it so far, but can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Baseball pitches. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. 
You're on your way to escaping! Ah, but it's not just you. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. WNBA teams. Characters snapped away in Avengers Infinity War. Behind you! Are you afraid of the dark? Synchronized swimming positions! Time is almost up! You won't be forgotten, whoever you were! Your friends. A knife can't save you from ghosts. Animals statistically likely to outlive a moose. Hero cards! The darkness approaches! Charlie Chaplin films! Yikes! There's a g, -g, -g ghost right behind you! Animals with more than two eyes. Muscles in the human body. The exit is so close! One last trap. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. There's not much time. I'm Dr. Caralda, a licensed physician of the mystical arts. You seem to have been infected by a supernatural madness. The spirit world is getting all up inside of your brain. Quickly, you must answer this question correctly or succumb entirely to the dark whispers of the other realm. Which of these animals eats other animals? I know! It all comes down to this! Oh no! You got a ridiculously easy trivia question wrong!
this thing? Welcome to the Dictionarium! Please make yourself comfortable on my austere Scandinavian furniture! Oh yeah! Check out this crew! Very good! In the Dictionarium, you will take a made-up word and turn it into a real word with real meaning that you can use forever! Or forget about right away! It's a game! Oh, and for anyone watching, join the audience! Just input the room code and play along! Let's get started! Okay, I am sending you a word. Write a definition for this word on your device. This is the last word my parrot said before she passed. I'd love to know what it means. For closure. I believe that you can do this. Of course, I believe in a lot of wacky things, like a dog who can do Irish dancing. Show me the definitions! Now is the time for voting! Pick the definition that is so good it deserves a little treat! And remember, you can award bonus points to the ones that stole your heart! And the winning definition is... This dictionarium is hungry for a synonym. It's your turn. Make up a word that matches the definition on your device. Round two is fast. You too must be fast. the words! Choose the word that best fits the definition. And the winner is... In round three, you will use the word in a sentence. This is your last chance to add to the dictionarium entry, so make it count. Write a sentence using the word on your device. The sentence you're working on right now is perfect. Keep going! Don't doubt yourself. I want to see these! Look! 
Let's vote on these little guys. And the winner is... Voila! Your hard work paid off! Thank you for your contribution! And now let's see the winner! <laughs> Hurry back! I just found a new word and it's soft and flat! The game that you are playing, well, it causes much hilarium. You make up silly words and phrases ending in hysterium. You have to answer quickly, no, you really mustn't carry them. And anybody can compete a Tom, a Dick, a